If you pluck a string on a guitar or play a key on a piano, you'll hear a note. It might be middle C or, or the F that's two octaves below middle C, but whatever note it is, you won't just hear that one note. You'll hear lots of others at the same time. These other notes are called overtones, and the complete set of overtones is called the overtone series. It's this that gives a particular instrument its special quality of sound, or timbre. What happens when you pluck a guitar string? Well, of course it vibrates, and it vibrates between two fixed points, the bridge and the nut at the top of the fretboard. The sound comes not just from the string itself, in fact, the string makes hardly any sound on its own because it moves very little air, but its vibrations are transmitted to the wooden body of the guitar causing it to vibrate in turn and be the main source of sound. The lowest frequency of vibration is the fundamental, also known as the first harmonic. The first integer multiple of the fundamental is the first overtone or the second harmonic, so if for instance the fundamental vibrates 50 times a second, the first overtone vibrates double this, or 100 times a second. The second overtone vibrates at 3 times the fundamental, or 150 times a second, and so on. Here's another view of a fundamental and its first few overtones. Notice that the number of the overtone is always one more than the number of the harmonic. Both overtones and harmonics are known as resonant frequencies. Musicians tend to prefer the term overtones. Physicists tend to prefer to talk about harmonics. If we take our fundamental note to be C2, that's the C two octaves below middle C, then the first overtone has double this frequency and therefore is the note that's an octave higher, or C3. The second overtone is a fifth, a musical fifth that is, up from C3 or G3. The third overtone is another fourth higher, or a full octave above C3, bringing us to C4, or middle C. The fourth overtone is a major third higher than C4, which is E4, and so it goes on. This process of stepping up from the fundamental in the frequency ratios 2 to 1, 3 to 2, 4 to 3, 5 to 4, and so on, gives rise to what's known as the natural tone series. It's a series built by moving up from the fundamental in successive overtones. If we're talking about an individual string on a guitar, the combination of overtones that we hear when the string is played will depend where it's played, near the bridge or further away, how hard it's played, and whether it's played with a pick or the flesh of a finger. The combination of overtones determines the quality of the sound or timbre. The timbre will vary from one guitar to another depending on its construction. It will vary even more from one type of instrument to another. Clarinets, for instance, tend to have strong, even-numbered overtones, second, fourth, sixth, and so on, and weak, odd-numbered ones, especially in their lower registers. The combination of overtones produced by organ pipes depends on whether the pipes are open or closed. Pipes that are closed at the top sound predominantly even-numbered overtones, which is the same as saying odd-numbered multiples of the fundamental. Open pipes, on the other hand, produce a combination of both even and odd overtones. In modern Western music, we don't use the natural tone scale based on overtones or harmonics. Instead, we use something called 12-tone equal temperament, in which the frequency ratio of successive notes is a constant. The table here compares the first 31 harmonics just subtract 1 to get the corresponding overtone, and the intervals of the equal temperament. To do this, the notes of the natural scale have been octave displaced and compressed into the span of one octave. In the column on the right, you can see the difference between natural tones and their equal temperament equivalents in cents. One cent is one hundredth of a semitone, or half tone, in equal temperament. 
You can see that while some of the intervals, such as the fifth, the minor third, and the major second, are very similar in frequency, others, such as the tritone, minor sixth, and major seventh, are significantly different to the point where it would be obvious to the ear. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on music and science, and I'll hope to see you again soon.